Hello, my name is Kishwani. It's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 297. The very last problem on page 297, problem number 13. Page 297 and today is our lesson number 197. We are given a distribution of 14 students by gender and class. Here is the distribution. And question, first, question, first question simply is, what are, what are the odds of choosing not a junior? If you look at the table here, there are 19 juniors and there are all together 40 students. Therefore, a person that is not a junior out of 40, 19 are juniors, therefore the odds of picking Somebody who is not a junior is simply 40 minus the 19, which is the number of juniors, divided by total number, which is just 21, 21 over 40. Very simple, very straightforward. 21 over 40. Let's do the second one. The second one says, the odds of picking a female or a sophomore. A female or is or a sophomore. How do you spell sophomore? Well, how many females are there? Females are, if you, if you add them up here, there are 22 females, plus there are how many sophomores there? Sophomores, there are 16 sophomores. And if you simply were to add them up, what we notice is that when we look at the, when we look at the females and when we look at the sophomores, this figure is double counted. The, this figure is double counted. In other words, we have we have 10 females who are also sophomores. So when we count females, we count those 10 females which are sophomore, and when we count sophomore, we count uh, the females that have already been counted. This 10 is double counted, so we have to subtract that 10 from it. So altogether there are 38, altogether there are 38 minus the 10, because there are 10 that are double counted. And therefore the odds of picking a female or a sophomore is simply 30, it should be 38, not 30. 38 minus 10, which is 28 over 40. If you divide top and bottom by 7, there are 4 sevens in, in 28 and there are 10, so it's 4 cents or 2 fifths. Now this particular question, I'm going to erase part A so that it doesn't get too crowded. This particular question, just out of curiosity, let's ask ourselves what would it look like in a Venn diagram? In the Venn diagram, we'll show it like this. Here is your, here is your female, and her, here are your sophomores. How many females are there? There are 22 females. How many, how many sophomores are there? Sophomores. There are 16 sophomores. And then we realize that the common cell is this one. This one is the common cell that appears in both cases, which is 10. So we put the 10 in the middle. We put 10 in the middle, which is which is 10 female, which represents 10 females who are also sophomores. The common area, which is 10, and therefore we have to take away 10 from here, it becomes 6, and this 22 becomes 12. In other words, there are 12 females, there are, there are 12 people who are female and sophomores. Similarly, sorry, there are, there are 12 people who are female but not sophomores. Similarly, there are 6 sophomores that are not female, as we can see here, those are 6 males. That's it. Let's look at part C. A male sophomore or a female senior? A male sophomore or a female senior? Well, how many male sophomores are there? Male sophomore, there are six of them. Or a female senior? female, senior, there are three of them. So there are nine altogether out of 40. That's it, that's our answer. Nine out of 40 is the answer for part C. And that's all. This one was a very straightforward, simple question. Nothing to it at all. What I'm going to do now, listen carefully please. What I'm going to do now is give you another probability question, a bonus question which is not in the book, so I'm going to put it on the blackboard right now. 
I want you to work on it before you watch tomorrow's video. Work on it on your own. We are done with this one. That's it. So here's the problem for tomorrow. So still I'm going to tag that as 13, except this is a bonus question. It is not in the book. Okay. It is actually a very long problem. If I were to write it right now, it's going to bore the hell out of you. I'm going to write it tomorrow when we start it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.